What's up guys, it's Lightsparrow here and today I'm bringing you a video of a Giants B10 team that is complete light and dark monsters. Um, other than Grego, this Dark Lich, a lot of you guys are going to have the other four. Um, I realize Arya is kind of hit or miss depending on how long you've been playing. If you were playing back when Arya was a Hall of Heroes, then you'll likely have her and if you weren't playing back then, then unfortunately you will likely never get her because she is a ld nat 4 and you don't get ld lightnings every day so um yeah basically i don't expect too many people to have the dark lich and i expect most people to have the light succubus but i do realize the people that either weren't like didn't start playing back then or if they just like took a break from the game back when Aria was a Hall of Heroes and they missed the Hall of Heroes, then yeah, you might not get Aria anytime soon. But you might, so you never know. But um, yeah, this team, like for starters, it's just really like a mess around team. This is not, I mean, like it works and it works really like good. I, like it'll work fine. But um, it's not the most efficient first team, I guess. Like, there, what I'm trying to say is there's teams that are easier to make than this if you are looking for your first team. But this team is decently fast. It's around three to three and a half minutes, depending on your runes and um, stuff like that and how lucky you get with the Lich. Because the Lich's first skill attacks two or three times and it's just RNG which one he attacks. As well as the second skill attacks four times, but it attacks random targets. But so like if all four land on the boss, it'll do a lot of damage. But sometimes zero of the four will land on the boss. So the runtime varies a little bit because of that. Be like because the Lich is basically the damage dealer in this team. My Darian does a little bit of damage, and my Vero will do a little bit of damage. But then Arya and Bella do basically no damage, and so. The Lich is the main damage dealer here, of course. I'll show you guys the runes after this, and then I'll explain the like elements of this team if you do want to try and recreate this, but maybe a little bit different. So Vero, uh, I'm sure most of you guys know what Vero does and why he's so good in Giants, but the dots never hurt, as well as the stuns is nice for the first four stages. But the main reason you bring Vero is because he will reliably cleanse the defense break every time he gets a turn. He will never a have an AI derp on it because it's his passive that cleanses. So that's mainly why you bring Vero. Um, next, Arya. Um, the sleep is kind of cool on the first four stages, but of course it doesn't work on the boss. But the AoE speed debuff and glancing hit is nice on the boss. Um, like It's nice to get the tower slowed nice to get the boss slowed but the lich also slows the boss but the glancing hit on the boss helps a lot too and then that's pretty much what Arya is there for so like shannon could do Arya's job but better basically because shannon will glancing hit the boss aoe speed debuff on top of that she'll do a defense buff so of course shannon might be better than Arya, but shannon's not light so didn't use her um, the Lich, just there for damage. Of course, he does a little bit of defense break on the second skill. He does a speed debuff first skill. But if you have Arya, the speed debuff is already there. And if you have Darian and Bella, so is the defense break. So he's really just there because he's my only light or dark damage dealer that I have ruined. So, yeah, he found a way in the team. And then his passive, um, I'm not a big fan of it in dungeons. Um, what it does is it makes it so the damage dealt to him is halved, but in return, he only gets half the healing. But so in this case, Bella is the only healer, and Bella heals, like, what, 30% every four turns. But so she only heals Grego 15% every four turns, but he only gets half the damage, so I guess it adds, it like adds up. The other part of his passive is he gets stacks when enemies or allies die, but... Um, basically the only thing that's going to die on the boss stage is the boss, so he won't get any stacks. So Grego really isn't a good option, and if you are just trying to make a normal team that's not just a light and dark mess around team, um, there's way better options than Grego out there. 
Uh, Darien, uh, his passive is nice. I'm sure you guys know about his passive. It reduces damage by 15% on everyone but himself. First skill can do a little bit of damage if you ruin him with a lot of HP and defense break. And the second skill does the attack break. Um, the main thing you're looking for from this Darien is the passive and the attack break. You don't really worry about the defense break because Bella's already got that. And what Bella's going to be doing is the defense break, the buff strip, which is actually really important to remove the attack buff, as well as she's your only healer in this team, so ideally she could be a little fast because, if yeah, like I said, she's your only healer. But this team is uh, extremely safe, you saw. The Grego came kind of close to dying there. But I'll show you the runes in a second, and it'll probably make sense why. Um, I have my damage build, and so, but yeah, would, like even if Grego died, this team would have won because Darian will still do a little damage, and the dots would have killed the boss eventually. And so I'll show you the runes real quick. Here's my Vero. It's on Swift Energy. Um, these stats are a lot more than what you need if you're looking to make this like your team. Um, like, I have a, a lot of extra stats you don't need, but the stat you want to look out for him is the accuracy. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the accuracy cap in Giants B10 is 45%. So if you get 45%, that's like having max. But so try and get the 45 accuracy. Uh, my general rule of thumb for Giants teams is 170 speed, 800 defense, and 17,000 HP. Uh, I believe that works most of the time, if assuming you have the right buffs and debuffs. And of course, like if you miss, like that is if you, assuming you have attack debuff on the boss, you have buff strip to remove the attack buff from the boss. You have a cleanse to remove defense break. Like if you don't have a cleanse or a what's it called a buff stripper on your team, you'll need more HP and defense because you're gonna just let the boss have attack buff. So. The 17,000 HP, 800 defense is assuming you have attack break, buff strip, and cleanse. So this Vero's got a lot of extra stats, you can see. Um, max skilled, and he's on speed, HP, and defense. I think HP is better to have than defense on Vero, but defense works too, so it doesn't really matter. Um, here's my Aria, Swift Energy. You could ruin her to spare too. Um, Mine is not completely max skilled, but the third skill is maxed, so that's nice. And it's got the max accuracy for Giants. It's actually got a lot of extra accuracy. Um, it's plenty fast and plenty tanky to survive. And I've got mine on HP, HP, accuracy. Ideally, you'd go like speed, HP, HP, and just get accuracy from subs, but I didn't go that route. Here's my Grego, who has zero skill ups. Uh, he's got enough accuracy. It's because I use him in Necro. If you want to use Grego, or if you want to use any Lich or any damage dealer, or whatever, you don't you don't need debuffs on him because your team already like without the damage. Like if you just took Grego out of this team, it would have all you need to win. And this is this final slot is just here to speed it up. So you don't don't worry about accuracy. Um, this one just try and get him tanky enough to survive. You can see this is only at fifteen thousand HP. So it's not really the tankiest in the world, but it did kind of barely survive. But just worry about the crit rate, crit damage, attack, some speed, and HP is preferred, but not necessary. Because like I said, this is just to speed it up. But mine's on attack, crit damage, attack, which is pretty much what I would recommend. Here's Darien. Um, my Darien is not on the build that I'd recommend for Giants purposes, like Swift Blade. And, um, I'd pretty much recommend just go triple energy, but it's on max accuracy. Um, it's pretty slow, which isn't a huge deal with Darien. Uh, it's got a ton of HP, which is fine. That's good. And then the crit rate and crit damage, you guys don't need to worry about that. Um, mine is on a HP crit rate HP build because I use him as like a hybrid damage dealer in some guild wars. He doesn't do insane damage, but he does do a tiny bit. And it helps sometimes. But if you're trying to build Darien, just worry about the accuracy and then the HP. And speed is a bonus for Darien, pretty much. And then here's Bella. If it's, I'm like holding on Bella, but it's not loading it. Okay, there we go. Um, this is on Violent Energy. Swift will work. Uh, if you're on, if Bella is going to be a solo healer, I would recommend at least like 180 speed if you're on Swift. 
Um, of course, violence preferred, but it doesn't really matter. Max skills on mine and um, max accuracy. Uh, mine's exactly 180 speed, and it's tanky enough to survive. So, um, in case you're wondering, it's on speed, defense, HP. Um, whether you go HP or defense on Bella, it's whatever, your choice. I always prefer HP on pretty much all my monsters. But Bella's base defense is pretty good, and her base HP is pretty okay, too. So you, you can choose whether you want to go HP or defense. It's whatever your preference is. But, yeah, this team, like I said, if you do choose to build this, it's extremely safe. You could run it without the Grego, and it would still win. Um, so whatever, this spot right here, if you want to, put whatever, Susano, Sig, Lucian... Um, I don't know what else I have. Theo, people like I don't know. Those are common units to have, um, and it should work. Uh, if you want it, you can try it out this team or try out something close to this team and share your results in the comments. But other than that, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to just tell me in the comments. As well as if there's any other videos you want to see from us, then you can mention that in the comments as well. But that's really all I have for today, though, guys. So may the best year of today's be the worst year of tomorrow's.